Topping the news this morning, all he said was sorry. This is Adrian Reyes. The Man State Police say drove his car into a crowd of people at a fundraiser for victims of the deadly Nescopec fire. The fundraiser outside a bar in Berwick yesterday, one dead, 17 hurt. Some are in critical condition this morning. Reyes is also believed responsible for a homicide in Nescopec Saturday evening. The suspect was arraigned early this morning. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Stroop has the evening of crime in Luzerne and Columbia counties. First responders and criminal investigators from both Luzerne and Columbia counties filled West 2nd Street in Berwick Saturday evening. Outside the intoxicology department bar and restaurant, after state police say a man drove through a crowd of people gathered here for a fundraiser, raising money for the victims of last Friday's deadly fire in Nescopec that took the lives of 10 people, including three children. So I was coming back down to get my basket, and when I arrived, the fire people, um, responders um, were here. Everybody, there was like people laying on the ground, and that's all I seen. I didn't see who was driving the vehicle or nothing. At least one person died and 17 were injured in the crash. According to Geisinger, at least four of those injured are in critical condition. At a news conference, state police would not say if the crash was done intentionally. That's something that is currently under investigation. We have interviews to conclude. We have video surveillance to look at. More information on that will be released. But state police did say they have the man who they believe to be responsible in custody. And they caught up with him after a crash at this home on Ridgewood Avenue in Nescopec. Shortly thereafter, Pennsylvania State Police Shik Shinney received a call of a male that was physically assaulting a female in Nescopec Borough, Luzerne County. Upon their arrival, they discovered a male who was in custody, placed in custody by a municipal police department, along with a female who was deceased. While state police have the man they believe to be responsible in custody, they ask anyone with information or videos or photos of either incident to please contact state police in Shikshini. You know, this is a as the major said, this is a complete tragedy in a community where there's already been tragedy. We are going to do our job to the best of our abilities to conduct a thorough investigation, not only for the families, but the community members. They're already hurting. And if there's anything we could do to help those families beyond our investigation, we absolutely will do it. The restaurant has posted on its Facebook page that it will be closed until further notice as it deals with the tragedy that took place here on Saturday night in Berwick. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Columbia County.